What's going on, Jerome's? So we put it out to you, the people, and we asked, what is your Minnesota Fighting Vikings training camp hot take prediction? I, I want flaming hot, uh, uh, like scorching hot. Oh, by the way, this is not an Asian thing, but eating Cheetos or most chips in general with chopsticks is so much better than just you know jamming your greasy maw hands all, all up in there, especially, especially if you're playing poker. Not saying, I'm just saying. Hmm. Anyways, so my prediction was uh, Thayer Thomas, the UDFA wide receiver punt returner out of NC State, uh, makes a 53-man roster. Sorry, rooster. You know, that, that that annoys people. That makes me want to do it more. Anyways, uh, the, he makes a, the rooster as wide receiver five and wins the punt returner job. Woo! woo. Uh, which means <sighs> Jalen Rager probably gone. He gone. Anyways, uh, predictions. Uh, Traveler. Blackman takes cornerback three behind Murphy and Evans ahead of Booth, which I could see, and Blackman being with the ones a lot during OTAs and mandatory minicamp. Uh, and it does seem like one, two, three win play show is Murphy and Evans starting. Blackman in nickel, uh, either playing in slot or on the outside. Murphy kicking inside. I love it. Uh, Frank, uh, Asamoah and Pace shine as middle linebackers. Uh, Otamuo and Roy, uh, Jaqueline Roy stand out on the defensive line. And B-Flow show three safety looks that essentially our base defense. Uh, 12 and 11 personnel will be an even split on offense, which I, I don't think that's as crazy as it sounds. Uh, as Metellus has been basically a de facto starter, awesome one's going to shine. Pace, uh, if it gets reps, I, I think could be a dude. Otamuo was really awesome when he got reps last year, and Jaqueline has been running with the ones uh, at OTAs and minicamp. So I, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Uh, those are good ones. Uh, has I'm not reading that. Uh, Jaqueline cracks the ones. Check. Tonga is the two down starting nose. Uh, Booth puts it together and fights his way to cornerback two. So Tonga. So Flores' defense is always hinged upon a true blue, like 330 pound uh, two gap and nose tackle. And Harrison Phillips is a great defensive lineman. He ain't that. But putting Tonga uh, there and having Phillips play a you know four tech five tech uh, type role. I think would make more sense. And then Booth putting together and fights his way to cornerback too. If he stays healthy, he's got all the talent in the world, but that, that's always a big if. Uh, angry nude. Uh, Jackie Chen gets onto the rooster and is a starting backup. So I, I would love to see it. Uh, I love my Asian brethren, and hopefully I, I'm rooting for him. And you know, from what uh, I was able to piece together from like his college tape and highlights, like he looks good. And work ethic, I'm going to get after it. There you go. Robe. Oliver at tight end two makes more receptions than wide, end th uh, than wide receiver three. Woo. So Oliver would have more catches than KJ or Addison. Uh, Rager, uh, Naylor, and Osborne locked in a scrap for wide receiver three, four, five. I think Osborne's pretty clearly above the other two, and I actually think Naylor is uh, is uh, pretty firmly wide receiver four. Uh, Tonga establishes a starting nose tackle. It's not as crazy as it sounds. Booth uh, starts at nickel slot. I think a boost starts, he's going to be on the outside. I think that Blackman and Murphy are too adept in the slot. Uh, Ingram makes a step in the O-line, and the O-line looks solid. Yes. And Davenport stars at uh, edge rusher. Also could see that. Uh, Tenachem. Addison takes wide receiver one over from Jefferson. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nobel War Prize. There is three players on other teams' roosters who will make the Vikings' final 53 uh, come cut. So, I mean... Maybe one, but three is a lot. Three is a lot. So basically, um, basically, either the Vikings make trades during camp or preseason, which doesn't happen a ton, or uh, the Vikings pick up and roster three players that were cut. I don't know. That's, that's a little bit spicy. Drew Smith. Cleveland loses starting left guard spot, and Metellus plays out of his mind and becomes a key defensive piece alongside Lewisine. Uh, I, I don't see Ezra losing his spot per se, because I, I I just don't see any offensive lineman on the roster that would take his spot. Maybe Blake Brandle. I mean, they, they really seem to like him at guard. Chris Reed, no. Schlutman, no. So Sockle, no. Udo is definitely not moving back to guard. Screw that noise. Jackie Chen? I don't know. I don't know. Alan Ali? Prior to TCU? I don't know. Uh, then, uh, but yeah, Metellus, I, I think, is going to be the Viking secret weapon on defense. Uh, K Fizzle, a scene is in danger of being delegated to the practice squad. 
I no, I think Seen has too much potential as a former first round pick to try and get him on uh, through waivers onto the practice squad initially. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Martinez, uh, McBride uh, takes two uh, on running back chart, which whew, it wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world. I mean, Madison is a fully capable three down back, and if you want to take uh, some work off of his plate, early downs would be the place to go, and McBride would be that early down back. I mean, King Ken, I don't know if he can be more than just a kick returner. Ty Chandler is more of a scat back and a, a receiver. So, I mean, you could see it. Uh, Miss Six Boy, uh, Asuma isn't uh, as good as we think Hope he is. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, Jorge, Jorge Sarti. Uh, Caleb Evans submits himself as outside corner one. Ooh, would love to see that. Uh, I, I think he could. I mean, the flashes that he showed last year were fantastic. Uh, Nikki Covington, uh, well, I think Lucky Jackson, Malik Knowles, Jalen Naylor, Jay Ward, Ivan Pace Jr., Andre Carter make it to the rooster. Uh, plus, I think quarterback one, Murphy, Blackman, two, Boo, three, Evans, four, and others will be on the practice squad. Um, probably room for one more corner. Uh, usually, Teams usually keep five on the 53. So I would say uh, maybe Tay Gowan. I, I, I like the work that Tay Gowan puts in. Uh, next. Uh, Steve Steve Jones Tonga shows out. I don't get a lot of love for Kyrus Tonga. I think he's a great pickup, man. Uh, Ivo uh, and a- 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 uh Ivan Pace Jr. can't sniff or cut it at the NFL level, and we have an off-ball linebacker problem currently uh, the way the rooster is looking. False, or hopefully not. Uh, the the Odin Horse Lord? Naylor, week one, wide receiver three. Ooh, that's a spicy meat. That means Jalen either beat out KJ or Addison. And it probably would be Addison, you know, just given the way that, you know, rookies progress and KJ is ready to rock and roll, man. Uh, Daniel Brueggemann, uh, Boot Jr. gets released. It would be super embarrassing for Kwesi to have to release a uh, second-round cornerback uh, in year two. So, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, absent off the field stuff, I don't really see it. Uh, big head. Scene starts at safety. I mean, Cena's is going to get his. Uh, do I see him starting? I don't know. He basically is a one for one replacement for Harrison Smith, and Harrison is going to be out there. All right. So, Cena, skill wise, I mean, doesn't really cross over with Bynum or Metellus. Uh, so, ask him to do their specific roles. I don't know. I mean, uh, Lou Cena is, is Harrison Smith Jr., he is. Uh, then Dan Rob uh, Lewisine starts over by him at safety. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, a lot of love for Kyrus Tonga. Absolutely love and adore seeing that man. It's good times. But uh, that's it. Uh, that we put out to you, the Jerome's flaming hot training camp predictions. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.